Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, let us see how to submit a manuscript for a journal publication. But this time, I have not prepared anything about the journal. I mean, I have not selected the journal. So let us start from the scratch how to select a suitable journal for the manuscript prepared and how to submit the manuscript for the selected journal. The first and the foremost thing is how to select a suitable journal for the manuscript prepared. So let me google the information. Let me search for the important link that is called as journal finder. Let me select the first result. We can go for the result number 1 or result number 2 or the result number 3. Generally, the journal finder is powered by Elsevier. Journal suggester is powered by Springer publication. Let me select the first one. So, if I just click on this one, I can find n number of Elsevier journal for the manuscript what I have prepared. So, before this one, before going for this particular search, please ensure that your manuscript is ready. The reason because we wanted the title of the paper followed by the abstract and the keywords for the paper what we have given. So let me minimize this window for a while. Let me open the manuscript. So the manuscript what I am showing you over here, the manuscript is prepared based on the metal, mat, sorry, metal matrix composites. So this is the title of the paper. Let me copy paste the title of the paper in the paper title option followed by the abstract so the detailed abstract what you have done so let us copy paste the same thing followed by enter relevant keywords for your paper so what are all the keywords what you have selected so let me select the keywords so let me copy paste the same keywords over here see but it very clearly says that no keywords found so this is not the way to copy paste the keyword so keywords let me cancel everything so keywords has to be typed one by one so so that we will get the options ready made over there six uh, keywords have given i think this is enough the next is field of research what is the field of research? My field of research is based on engineering. So let me click on the drop menu. Let me go down the drop menu. Let me click on this one engineering. So the next option will be highlighted. That is nothing but the select field of research. I mean that is we are just refining the uh, search list. So we can give it as a material science engineering. Suppose if mechanical, if it is available, let us select the mechanical. I think mechanical is not available here. So I can discard this one. Let me keep as it is. Followed by refine your search. So what is that? Let me click on this one. So here you can see the type of publication. So OA, what we can see here is OA, a journals that offer gold OA. What does that mean OA? OA stands for open access journal. So for open access journal, we are supposed to pay a few amount. So that will be in terms of US dollar. The second one is yes. Yes stands for subscription. Journal with subscription indicates the journal is at a free of cost. That means to say that the paper, the manuscript, the published manuscript will not be under open access. It will be open access after 24 months from the date of publication. So this is the one type. The second condition is journal impact. So based on the citation score, we can just uh, uh, give the values over here. We can select it based on the impact factor, based on the time to first decision, uh, 0 to 52 weeks. 52 is nothing but the weeks. Uh, so I can just uh, uh, reduce this uh, uh, number to 10 or 12 or whatever it is based on your requirements. And after revision, the time to publication, is it uh, the maximum is 52 weeks? So we can reduce or depending upon your criteria, you can select this one. As of now, I'm not doing anything with respect to all these things. I've just given the uh, title of the paper followed by the abstract of the paper followed by the keywords and the field of research. So with this basic information, let me click on find journals. So that will take you to the next level 
I, I will be getting. So, 49 journals are matching for the manuscript what I have selected. So, it is clearly indicating that it is sorted by the best match. Otherwise, I can just filter the options over here. So, let me see whatever it is given, let me proceed now as it is. Um, the first one is Journal of King South University Engineering Science. You can see the acceptance rate is 11% and the time, time to first decision is uh, 6 weeks and publication is 57 weeks. Uh, the next is Engineering Science and Technology. Acceptance rate is just to 3%. So, uh, we can just uh, scroll down the option. You can see the all 49 journals matching with the, our paper. So, this is how to select the journal, suitable journal for the prepared manuscript. Suppose, let us think, let me come to a conclusion after reviewing all these things. Let me come to a conclusion that I may submit the paper for one of the journal. Say, International Journal of Mechanical Science. See, the time taken is just one week and the time taken to publication is three weeks with a citation score of 9.7 and impact score factor of 6.7 acceptance rate is 12 so th this is matching with the keywords what i have given i had given hope you remember I had given the keywords as composite materials and the fabrication processes this is the keyword so this journal fits for the manuscript what i have prepared and how to submit the uh, manuscript for international journal of mechanical sciences um, uh, it is already the video is done. I will give you the link in the description. You can have a look at it. So let me go for few more uh, uh, options over here. Uh, you can we can see over here composite structure engineering failure analysis CIRP journal of manufacturing. Uh, this is having a 24% acceptance rate journal of material processing technology. Since I have given something called as fabrication process in in for this is taken. This is the open access is there, even the subscription is there. So, I can submit the manuscript at a free of cost. The next one is International Journal of Machine Tool and Manufacture. Uh, this is 7% uh, uh, acceptance rate and the time taken is for 2 weeks. I will be considering International Journal of Machine Tool and Manufacture. So, let me click on this drop menu here. I will get more information based on this one. What we can see here? One by one. Citation score is 17. Impact factor is 10.331. Acceptance rate is just 7%. Very less acceptance ratio. And the time taken for the time to first edition is 2 weeks. Time to publication is 3 weeks. List price of APC. What is APC? Article processing charge for open access is 4840 US dollar. That's a huge amount uh, as per Indian currency. So embargo period. As I told you the other time. For subscription, we are supposed to wait for 24 months, that is 2 years. This is the scope of the journal. So, let, let us directly go for how to submit a paper. So, this is the official journal website and this is the submit a paper link. Let us go for official website of the journal. International Journal of Machine Tool and Manufacture. The same information, once again, it is given over here. So, this is the editor-in-chief uh, uh, details it is given from UK. Um, these are all the latest paper uh, or article in press paper, top cited paper, most downloaded paper. Let me uh, submit the paper. How to submit? So, request you to watch this video till the end. Uh, let me click on this link, submit your article. So, before submitting any article, let me ensure that um, my manuscript has to be ready as per the elsewhere template. This is very, very important. So, what is the username and the password? I don't have the username and the password. Let me register now. The first step in the any journal submission, any manuscript submission. So, uh, retrieve your details using ORCID register, ORCID entry or you can manually type the values over here. So, I don't have my ORCID record. So, let me type manually. I have typed the first name, last name and the email address. So, with this information, let me click on continue. That takes to the next step. This is the registration page. Enter preferred username. Preferred username. Username can be given anything as such. Uh, it may be your nickname or whatever it is. 
for time being let me give my username something like this followed by a password So password should be within some um, 8 to 10 characters, one caps should be there, one special character should be there, one number should be there, numeric should be there. So that is the format for the password. So title, so title is Mr. or Professor or a doctor. So based on your uh, one status, we can give the title uh, followed by the first name. Uh, middle name and the family name that would have been already taken was we have given in the previous page so what is your degree the highest degree i am a mtech graduate i will uh, give it as mtech preferred name preferred name or the preferred username is already what we have given in the first uh, option for this login page details followed by your primary phone number followed by the secondary phone number if you are having so secondary phone is for what is the option you want to select it to please give the proper option. If you are having a fax number, please provide the fax number else we can leave it. So followed by the institution related information where exactly you people are working with. So position, the current position I am working as an assistant professor at an engineering college. The institution, it's very clearly given start typing to display potentially matching institution. So let me type the first few letters of our institution. So thereby uh, it, it gives the results. Let me select one results, one result from the available option. So department where I am working is mechanical engineering department. Let me give the uh, organization address very clearly. So country or region, so I am an Indian, I belong to India. Address is for work or a home or other, it's a, a organization, it's a place where I am working, that's the address what I have given. Available as a reviewer, what is the meaning of this one? For any other journal, if I want to uh, be the reviewer, I can select it as yes, else no. I don't want to select it as yes, why? Because I am a beginner research scholar. So I will take it as no. The next thing is, please indicate your areas of expertise either by selecting from the predefined list using the select personal classifications button or by adding your own keywords individually using the new keyword field and associated add button. Let me click on select personal classification over here. A new pop-up window will be opened. Let us select the personal classification based on the manuscript submission. Here we can see a few options. Let me select one by one. Else we can go for the search option in this box provided. The selected items will appear over here followed by the personal keywords edit personal keywords let me click on this one uh, we are supposed to edit personal keywords manually add one by one let me add this one and i think six i have given uh, let me click on close option um, all the credentials i have given over here um, let me give it as continue uh, thereby the primary registration is completed um, we respect your privacy please tick the box if you don't want to review news uh, uh, any email or any promotional uh, email if it is there i will uh, welcome it i will accept it uh, so with this let me go for continue option so now it is asking for registration is completed uh, go to the login page uh, what did what will happen here uh, it is asking for the username please be uh, please remember your username and password what you are given please type the credentials in the box provided now i am the author i am the one who is going to submit the manuscript let me click on author login 
that takes to the next level of manuscript submission. This is the author's main menu. We can see the list of options over here. So under new submission, under revision, under process completed. The first thing is submit a new manuscript. Let me click on this one. Here, let us submit the manuscript. So three to four different steps are there. Uh, my dear friends, I request you to watch the video till the end. Um, the first one, select the article type. Is it a research article, review article or any short, of, uh, any short communication? or any letter given to the uh, perspective or any any experience letter if you wanted to provide we can give as per the um, options available so now my our aim is to submit a, a manuscript so this is purely a research article let me click on the research article and let me give it as proceed that takes to the next option that is attaching file we are left out with four more options what we can see over here so attachment of file, general information, additional information followed by the manuscript data. Thereby our process will be completed. So what is that we are supposed to do here? We are supposed to attach files. Very clearly given, please provide a single file containing your manuscript now. Data included in your manuscript may be used to populate information for you later in the submission process. Yes, let me click on the manuscript. Manuscript is already prepared. As per the elsewhere format, let me drop and drag the file over here. So manuscript is 1.7 MB. It uploads in a uh, very short time. Yes. Not to forget, now everything is appeared. See, these are all the things we are supposed to apply, uh, submit one by one. What is that? cover letter, highlights, graphical abstract, manuscript without author details, acknowledgement, conflict of interest if any and followed by the credit author statement. My dear friends, this is the very important step in the submission process. At this point of time, it's not only the manuscript. So let us ensure that all these has to be documents has to be uploaded this is very much required for the submission as of now i have uploaded title page so this is wrong as of now let me remove as it is one by one let me select the one by one what is it first one is the cover letter so cover letter is just saying what is that you are going to do what is that you have done already just one line of the work what you have done let me select from the drop menu cover letter Already the cover letter is prepared and it is kept on the desktop. Let me drag and drop. Cover letter is now getting uploaded. Yes, it is uploaded now. That is, yes, you can see the tick mark indicating the successful submission. The second one, highlights of the manuscript. What is the complete highlights of the manuscript? Just make a few points, two to three points or five to six points is enough and try to give the main highlights of the work. Uh, now, from the drop menu, let me select the highlights. Highlights also it is done and I've saved it on the desktop as of now. Let me drag and drop. I can, you, one can see highlights also successfully submitted and two tick mark indicates successful submission. The next is graphical abstract. Nothing but the abstract of our manuscript. So graphical abstract, uh, abstract has been separately copied in a MS file. Uh, I've given the name as graphical abstract as it is and it is uploaded. The three tick mark, the first three is successful submitted. Now the title page with the author details. This is very, very important. What is the meaning of the title page? Please ensure that the title of the manuscript is given. This is the title for the paper what I'm submitting now followed by the author name and the second author name, followed by their affiliation. Let me go for uh, the drop menu, select the title page with author details, go drag and drop. Yes, the four first four documents are submitted. The next is manuscript without author details. This is also important. So let us ensure that the main manuscript doesn't carry the name of the 
फर्स्ट ऑथर सेकेंड ऑथर एंड दर अफिलियशन दिस इज कॉल्ड एज डबल ब्लाइंड मैनुस्क्रिप्ट लेट मी क्लिक ऑन मैनुस्क्रिप्ट विदउट ऑथर डीटेल्स सपरेट मैनुस्क्रिप्ट इज प्रिपेर्ड लेट मी ब्राउज इट इज केप्ट ऑन दि डेस्कटॉप दिस प्रोसेस टेक्स टाइम दैट्स वाई ई जनरली गो फॉर ड्रैग एंड ड्राफ्ट मैनुस्क्रिप्ट विदउट ऑथर डीटेल्स Yes, this is also uh, under process. Yes, it is submitted. Acknowledgement. What is acknowledgement? At last, if you want to give thanks, giving for any event, uh, any event, say for your HOD or for your uh, department uh, colleagues or for the management, if there is any financial support from the management, you can just give one acknowledgement. for their uh, uh, moral support during the course of time something like that let me select the acknowledgement the acknowledgement is already prepared over here so let me drag and drop yes uh, almost 6 we have done not to forget two more are left out a uh, conflict of interest what is the conflict of interest it means if you have taken financial support from any government industry or government sector or any financial support from the college side so we are supposed to give any interest as such but in my case the conflict of interest is nothing why because this is my self funded work what i have done so i very clearly mentioned over here conflict of interest or in the name of declaration of the interest anything is fine the authors would like to confirm that there was no Known conflict of interest associated with this paper publication. Also, like to mention that there were no significant financial support for this work. So let me update this one like conflict of interest. So this is one line statement. Let it be in the MS Word. Very clearly they are mentioned. So let me go for. conflict of drop menu let me go for conflict of interest let us drag and drop the last one is yes, even this is also uploaded the last one is credit author statement so how many authors you have given in the manuscript say author number 1 2 3 4 what are or what are the contribution of the authors that is nothing but the credit author statement in my in the paper what we are working on now what we are submitting in that case uh, it's me and my research guide so what are all the things i have done i have just included followed by the uh, second author that is my research supervisor what are all the things he has done uh, i have just included maybe your research guide or maybe your colleagues suppose if it is a case of a research guide you can just give it as um, support during the course of time manuscript uh, a uh, preparation or manuscript uh, corrections uh, was done by the second author something like that i mean it's very clear it's a credit author statement what are all the credits given by the author during the course of completion of the manuscript the last one is credit author statement so author statement let me rename it as credit author statement only that would be better not an issue if you write it uh, keep it like this only but this would have better weightage great author statement now we can see all the required documents for the submission is completed so not to forget if you just click on the drop menu there are few more options uh, if you want you can submit it otherwise you can leave it not an issue i don't know how many of you have observed on the desktop i had kept a separate sheet of separate file of list of table and list of figures that is included over here under the name are uh, figures and tables only the figures has to be in a separate file only the list of tables should be in the separate file but the required options are these six it is not asked for as of now so let me not submit it so all the six are uploaded let me click on proceed option so almost 40% of the work is completed now next the next thing is the general information yes the attachment of the file is also correct here the next thing is the general information so what is the general information so please identify your submissions areas of interest and specialization by selecting one or more classification 
so three to five classification just like the previous thing what we are done the same set of classification what we are given as a personal classification here they are asking for submission classification let me select a few classification let me submit it yes the next option is let me click on proceed yes the fourth option that is the fourth part of the submission Yes. What is this? Do you confirm that the manuscript is the author's original work? Uh, uh, this is my original work. Let me select it as yes. See, there is no option called as no only. Only one option is available. I should keep it as yes. Um, did you read the guide for authors carefully and did you check whether the manuscript format conforms to the guide of authors of IJMTM? What is IJMTM? International Journal of Machine Tool and Manufacturing. Manufacture, sorry. Uh, yes, I have read all the uh, details carefully. Let me click on yes. A dual publication statement. Please confirm that the work described has not been submitted, published previously or not. It is under the con consideration for publication elsewhere. Uh, elsewhere. So as of now, I have not submitted anywhere. So we are supposed to give it in a statement. Let me write it one line. The manuscript is not submitted elsewhere. Please confirm that all the authors have been approved. The final submitted version of the manuscript. Note that the authors will receive a message confirming the submission of the manuscript. Yes, uh, in my case, I have considered two authors. All the two authors have me, I mean, me and my uh, research guide uh, have um, uh, gone through the uh, final version of the manuscript. So now let me uh, write it as Yes, the next thing, uh, please report here the percentage of self citation in your paper and also include in your cover letter. Uh, to be honest, uh, these questions even I was not aware of it. Uh, these are all the new questions that has been added in the um, public during the process of publication. Um, please report here the percentage of self citation in your paper and also include this in your cover letter. See, cover letter has been already included. But what is the percentage of the self-citation that has to be included? Uh, to be more clear, I have included one of my previous elsewhere paper in this paper. So that is what we call it as the self-citation. So I can call it as, uh, I, I have given around 14 references. Out of 14 references, one reference is mine. I think I can easily go with 8% or 7% of the paper. So let me give the character count. Let me give it as... 7% of the self citation and let I cannot finish here uh, limit is 200 characters I think this is enough uh, as I told you even this is new for me uh, if uh, anything extra has to be added please let me know in the comment section um, self citation also include this in your cover letter the next question is please confirm that you have mentioned all the organization that funded your research in the acknowledgement section of your submission including grant numbers where appropriate um, as i told you this is a self-funded uh, uh, project i don't have any research uh, uh, fund from any organization or from any source and that is very clearly included in the submission so let me write it the same thing My dear friends, I am telling the same thing once again. This is uh, a new experience for me as well. Uh, if there is anything I wanted to include, you please let me in the comment section so that I will incorporate the same thing in the next video. Okay. The next uh, uh, question is, oh, there are still many questions left here. Okay. Uh, the next question. Please note that IJMTM runs a double blind review and any information that could reveal your identity needs to be removed. As, as I told you, the author's information was removed 
um, and uh, even the affiliation of the authors was removed. As I told you the other time, it is a double blind review. Even I do not know who is the reviewer. In turn, the reviewer doesn't know the who is the owner of the manuscript. So let me select as yes, I have removed. Now, please confirm that the figures and the tables have been included in the text, not at the end of the document. It is not at the end of the document. It has been included at the appropriate places. Yes. IJMTM changes regularly the cover that is selected based on the quality of the published paper. Do you confirm that in case your paper is up accepted, you will be able to prepare a cover based on the IJMTM standards? Yes, of course, right? We are ready. Mm, yes, let me write only that much is enough, I think. Uh, yes. The next thing, IJMTM expect that the author, author submitting paper to be active member of a community. Do you confirm that you will be available to review one to two papers per year for IJMTM if you are invited? Um, <laughs> to be honest, the other time I gave it as, uh, are you willing to be a reviewer? I told it as a no, but here, um, okay, let me take a chance. Let me give it as yes. What happens if I give it as a no? I think no. I think no. No question is asked further. Um, okay, let me keep it as. Uh, I don't know what to do this one. Let me take it as yes. The next question. Do you envisage to use some of the data models contained in the current manuscript for a new submission to IJMTM or other journal? If yes, please confirm that the future submission will be original in content or approach. What does that mean? Do you envisage to use some of the data models contained in the current manuscript for a new submission to IJMTM? Suppose if the next journal, if this is rejected or submitted, whatever it is, if I want to submit the next paper, will I be taking any content or any data or any models from this submission? This is a tricky question actually. Um, I cannot tell it as yes or I cannot tell it as no. Very clear it is mentioned. If yes, please confirm that the future submission will be original in the content and approach. Data or the models will not be um, uh, used for the next submission. The literature survey may be, may be used, isn't it? Um, so let me write the same thing. The next question. Uh, we are left with three more questions. Uh, is this manuscript similar to the one you have previously submitted to IJMTM? Yes, no. If yes, please note that before a paper may be resubmitted, the author must have the approval of the editor-in-chief EIC. In the cover letter, please confirm that you have communicated with the EIC and he, she has invited resubmission also include the manuscript number of previous pages. So in this case, I haven't submitted any manuscript uh, even I'm, as I told you, I'm repeating the same thing. I, uh, I don't have any idea of uh, these many questions. Even this is a new experience for me as well. Uh, I haven't submitted any uh, manuscript for this journal previously. I think no is the best option in this case. Uh, the next one. To complete your com uh, complete, uh, submission, you must select a statement which best reflects the availability of your research data code. Uh, no data was used for the research described. The data has been used as confidential. Uh, I will be just writing, I will be giving it as data will be made available on the request. Yes, I am ready to give the data, but upon the request after the completion of the submission. The next one is, please enter your institutional professional email address. Uh, let me give you the professional email address. Okay, finally, <laughs> the last one. Are you a PhD scholar or a researcher? Please indicate below. Note this information will be used in the selection of the best paper award. Yes, I am the PhD student. With all this information, let me proceed next. So that will be taken to the last one, the manuscript data. My dear friends, I am telling once again, if there is anything I wanted to include extra here, please let me know your thoughts and comments uh, in the comment session. Um, so with this, I will proceed for the next one. That is the proceed option. It is asking for the full title, title of the paper. 
the next one is abstract just to copy paste yes followed by a uh, keywords please enter the keywords separated by the semicolons uh, what are all the uh, keywords i have selected one by one the one author the first author is already taken um, on its default the second author please add another author and give the credentials of the next author next one is the funding information as we have clearly mentioned that there is no funding source for this manuscript preparation so uh, default it has taken there are no there are currently no funding source in the list there is no nothing as such let me click on this one funding information is not available so with this let me build pdf for the approval this is the almost the final stage in the preparation so publishing option yes initially we talked about something called as open access and the uh, subscription yes here that comes what is that open access gold open access uh, upon acceptance my final published journal article will be immediately available to everyone i need to pay apc that is article publishing charge what is the amount us dollar of 4840 excluding taxes so this is not possible for uh, in my case so let me go for subscription what is the subscription uh, once if the paper is submitted i am supposed to wait for 24 months this is what we call it as embargo period 24 months 2 years so i don't mind uh, waiting for 24 month, months let me keep it as subscription let me give save and return uh, let me click on the proceed option everything is clear now you can see uh, the date of submission began on that is today's date the date of submission uh, the status as per today's date what is the current status it is building pdf accept ethics in publishing what is the meaning of uh, accept ethics in publishing yes there has to be some ethics uh, the same paper should not be submitted elsewhere that is what we have given in the um, information also so these things are the ethics in the publishing let me uh, give a tick mark uh, and let me wait for a while it is still building the pdf these are the actions that has to be taken now view submission edit submission view submission is just you want to see once again all the manuscripts whether it's correct or not or all the documents that what you have submitted is correct or not you can just have a look at it else go for edit submission if you want to update any of the documents else if you think both are correct you can go for approve submission so let me go for approve submission an authenticated orchid id is requested so i don't have orchid id let me proceed without orchid id before that you must view your submission pdf for accuracy and completeness before it can be approved so let me click on view submission view submission means a, a single pdf will be downloaded indicating all the information what we have provided so once you can open the pdf and have a look at it uh, yes these are all the information see whether it's a highlights or maybe the abstract maybe the title as per the order what we have given everything is included over here now let me approve the submission proceed without orchid id are you sure you want to approve this submission yes okay so thereby a manuscript submission process will be completed yes we got the final confirmation message also thank you for approving effect of sic reinforcement on aluminium 707 alloys for mechanical and vibration characteristics tested casting process so if i just go for the home page what is that see the other time it was given we had selected submission submit a new manuscript everything is completed now the submission is being processed so if i just click on this link what is the status we can see over here yes submitted to journal once i will just log out and i will just log in once again so let me see what is the status 
this is the username I've given followed by the password. Submission being processed. Yes, it is with the editor. Submit it to the journal. Uh, as per the journal homepage information, official website information, it takes two weeks to give the first review. Uh, so let me wait for the um, reply from the International Journal of Machine Tool and Manufacture. Meanwhile, if you just go for your email, you would have got a confirmed message from the uh, IJMTM that is saying that the submission process is completed. Let me log out. I hope you like this video. Uh, if yes, uh, uh, please give this video a thumbs up. Uh, let's see in the next video. Please let me know your thoughts and comments in the uh, comment section. Uh, till then, have a nice time. I request you to uh, share this video with your friends and other research scholars. Wait until the next video. Have a nice time.